Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? Giant news in the NFL on Tuesday is that the 49ers are, in fact, open to trading Brandon Ayuk. I bring that up because every time a player like this is available, I always get asked, hey, should the Saints make a trade for Brandon Ayuk? And you know my feeling on this. If you're not at least asking the question and vetting every possibility to make your team better, no matter how unlikely, you're not doing your job. So yes, the Saints should vet a trade for Brandon Ayuk. And I want to talk about that a little bit here. First... Um, here was Mike Garofola from the NFL Network earlier today. He was asked, is a deal close for Brandon Ayuk? Here was the latest. I continue to say that I feel like we're getting closer to a resolution. We are just not there yet. You saw the reports that came out about the Browns and the Patriots having the framework of a deal in place with the 49ers. You also heard some talk that the Steelers were out of this one. In talking to sources all over this one, I would say that my feeling is nobody is out of this. I don't know that there's a lead dog right now. Ian, you called it fluid. I continue to say that, yes, it is extremely fluid. At some point, somebody's got to blink here. And Ayuk seems to have a pecking order for where he wants to wind up. He's not a free agent. He's under contract. But he's using as much leverage as he could possibly create with this hold-in that he's got going. So, a couple of things. And maybe most importantly there from Garofola is nobody's out of the running. We've seen that, oh, well, the Browns, Patriots had the framework of a deal. There was talk of the Steelers, but nothing, clearly nothing is imminent with this. And yes, I do think that the Saints should be exploring this possibility. Objectively, you are bad at wide receiver. This is not debatable. Chris Olave is a stud. We're all very high on what Rashid Shahid is becoming. But after that, what is next? A.T. Perry, who Dennis Allen said a week ago might struggle to make the team? Rookie Bub Means? What is there? Are we fired about Cedric Wilson? I mean, if you are actually in win-now mode, then you have to be considering options to make you better. Now, this is not my uh, preference, to be very clear. I don't think there's any way at all the Saints should inquire about Brandon Ayuk. Because in my opinion, the New Orleans Saints aren't close to winning anything. So to get Ayuk, you're going to have to give up assets and extend him, paying him $25, $30 million per year. I'll get, let me not get ahead of myself, okay? So for a lot of reasons, my opinion is pursuing Brandon Ayuk would be stupid. But, yeah, you'd have to consider it. Number one, keep in mind, you're going to have to pay Chris Olave. And maybe it's after this season. You do have a fifth-year option, so you could wait another year on Olave. But if you wait another year and he keeps playing this way, his price keeps going up, 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 up. So, are you going to have two receivers on your roster? Making 30, 25 to $30 million a year? I don't know how you stomach that. One of the other parts of this is San Francisco has said they want not only draft compensation for Ayuk, they're going to want player compensation. San Francisco is trying to win a Super Bowl this year, and they actually can do it, unlike the Saints. So if they give up Brandon Ayuk, they need somebody who's going to make them continue to be competitive. If you're the Saints, well, the options are the two guys I just mentioned, Alave and Shahid. Are you going to trade one of those guys to San Francisco for Brandon Ayuk plus picks and pay Brandon Ayuk? I don't think you're trading Chris Alave because if you have Ayuk and Shahid or Alave and Shahid, are you really any better one way or the other? The real thing would be, would you trade Rashid Shahid to San Francisco for Brandon Ayuk and then you'd have Alave Ayuk? Now that would be really appealing. But are you re- willing to give up on an undrafted rookie free on an undrafted free agent, not rookie, but entering year three, that you still have the opportunity to sign as a restricted free agent for next season, 
and you could still get relatively on the cheap as opposed to what you're getting with Brand you'd be getting with Brandon Ayuk. And then you're also talking about giving up draft capital. Some of what I've heard is mentioned is a couple of second round picks. Would you really give up Rashid Shahid and two twos for Brandon Ayuk and have to pay him a hundred million dollars? It's almost unfathomable to think of it that way. And keep in mind as well, the projected 2025 salary cap with where the Saints are on their on their their balance sheet right now, they are roughly $50 million over the projected cap for 2025. Ayuk would be affordable this year. He's got a $14 million cap number. You can make that work. But do you really want to take on Ayuk where you'd have to pay him at that rate moving forward and to, and add that onto a, onto a, a salary cap that is already some fifty million dollars in the red, like none of it makes sense. And and again, I've had a lot of people ask, "Hey, do you think this is something the Saints should consider?" And you are right to ask the question. And the Saints should be right to consider to make a call to see, "Hey, what would it take? Is there a deal to be done?" Like make them tell you no. Like ask the question. Shoot your shot. But I don't know realistically how with what San Francisco reportedly wants for Brandon Ayuk and what you'd have to pay him in your cap situation, that doesn't make you a, a, a championship caliber team. It could certainly assist Derek Carr if you had Alave and Ayuk. That would be a great one-two punch, maybe as good as any one-two punch in the NFL, arguably. But what it would cost you, what it would do to your cap, your inability to balance your roster and giving up draft assets. I mean, if you were in a position where you were a perennial contender and felt like you were a piece away, do it. Give up the future assets to, to, to shoot your shot now while that window's open. I just don't believe the window's open. I think many of you don't believe the window's open either. The question is, does Mickey Loomis and the Saints organization feel that window is open? Because if they do, then they're looking at Brandon Ayuk saying, can we get Brandon Ayuk pair him with Chris Olave and give Derek Carr those two weapons? Then what does our offense do? And if our, our draft picks on offensive line hit, if Derek Carr's better, if Kamara's healthy, they're, I mean, you, you can convince yourself why it could work. But you pull back to the 10,000-foot view, and I think all of a sudden you look and you go, yeah, this team isn't actually close. So no, my opinion is the Saints should not in any way consider doing a deal for Brandon. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact and be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.